Hi, and welcome to Patriot Field today. I'm John Pobans alongside with Jason Nye. Today we have a big divisional game, the Green Raiders of Ramapo going up against the Patriots of Wayne Hills. Jason, don't you think this is a pretty big divisional game today? Oh, definitely. Brad Gilmore coming in, he's 2-0. Uh, Nick Russo coming in 2-0, both good pitchers. Uh, they'll have their stuff today, and it's going to be a great game. This really should be a good one, everybody. You want to hang on, take a good seat, grab some soda and popcorn, and really enjoy this game. Right now at home plate, we got the uh, umpires meeting with the team captains and the coaches. So the game should be getting started pretty shortly. It's good weather out. so uh... Really nice day to play baseball today. Um, the first three batters that I'd like to say that are going to be batting in the top of the first for the Ramapo Green Raiders. Batting first will be Shooter Hunt, their ace pitcher actually, who won't be pitching today though. Um, he'll be playing second base instead. Charlie Granatello at shortstop and Mike Loracello at third base. They'll be going up against Nick Russo, who's a very fine junior pitcher for Wayne Hills, so should be a good game. They'll definitely have to uh, hit well. I mean, uh, try to score some runs in the beginning innings. Cause, uh, I after, agree, yeah. After several in innings, you can be devastating. Yep. Once, you, once those pitchers get going, I mean, once they find their game, it's really hard to stop them, so... As we can see, Nick's pretty concentrated over here. He'll be taking the mound pretty shortly, so. Both teams are ready to go. I mean, uh, Both teams are ready, and we're just waiting for the uh, umpires to lay down the ground rules with the coaches, and we should be started shortly. Shooter Hunt looks like he's uh, practicing in the batting circle. Y yes, Shooter Hunt's already taking a few swings, warm up, loosen up. Both sides realize that this is a very big game for them in the division. Could come out in the end to uh, see who actually takes the division. So both teams really see how important this game is for them. Patriots are coming in eight and one. Rampo's eight, also got a winning record. Eight so. and one. Patriots are six and one in division, and so are the Rampo Green Raiders. It is a, it's a pretty uh, important game. This is a huge game. Should be a large crowd here today, too, over in the bleachers, so should be a good game. All right, it looks like they're ready to go. Calling in the players for a quick meeting. Coach I is probably more uh, concentrated on hitting the ball and uh, running the bases. Yes. They seem very focused as they take the field today. Um, Jason, let's go around the diamond here, see everyone who's starting. At second base, we have Danny Albanese. He's a senior. Yep. At third base, we have Antonio and Bimbo. In center field, we have Kyle Cavanaugh. Um, at shortstop, we have Janae Chowdhury. In left field, we have Ryan Horhan. And Catcher's Chris Hughes. Chris Hughes is the catcher. In right field, we have Ryan Green. And at first base, we have Joe Ligori. The pitcher one more time today is Nick Russo, number 10. Once again, he's 2-0 coming into today, looking to tally up another win. Has a very strong arm. He's also a pretty good hitter. Yes. He's a junior, so he's still got one more year. He's got one more year of eligibility for next year, so the team should be strong again, once again, next year. Nick, when not pitching, sometimes will routinely play for his base. In order for the Patriots to win, they, Nick Russo has to hit his spots. They have to hit, score runs, play yep. good D. He has to paint that corner on the sides of the plate. Both teams look like they're ready to go. 
and the game's just about underway. The umpire's gonna paint off the plate here, and we're all set to play some baseball. Shooter Hunt takes the field, and will be batting righty. He's playing second base for the Green Raiders. And here we go, we're now gonna play some baseball. Top of the first, Shooter Hunt's batting. And the pitch. And he called a strike. Counts 0-1. Shooter Hunt looks to be, seems wants to take a few pitches. Russo throws another strike in there, a little curveball there. Nick Russo, seems, Nick Russo seems to be hitting his spots quickly. Seems so. early, seems to be hitting him. There's a foul, foul ball down the left side. <laughs> Shooter Hunt batting, batting back in the box. Ball taken outside, counts one and two. The one two pitch, and it's high, two and two. So quickly, Russo goes from an 0 2 count, and now he's falling behind. Two two here, and the pitch, strike three on the swing. Retires Shooter Hunt with the first out. Up steps number 11, Charlie Granatello at shortstop. There's one away, it looks like Nick having a good start. Oh. Nick is having a good start. The wind up, the pitch. Beamed him. And he hit him. Nick just hit Charlie and he takes his base. Looks as though that one just got away from Nick. Mm -hmm. He's got out that first batter pretty easily, so. Run on first, so now Nick should look just to make sure he doesn't steal to get too big of a lead. Yeah, Nick will be checking the runner. He's taking a look at, the, at Charlie. He's a good steal threat. Now batting number 25, Mike Lasello. Working out of the stretch is Nick Russo. Trying to keep the runner on at first. Here goes Russo, taking a look at the runner, pitch, and it's high for ball one. Counts one and oh. Nick seems a little too focused maybe in on the runner at first right oh, now. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And the runner's stealing second, the throw down, and he's in times. Charlie Grinatello steals second on the pitch. Yeah, you know, if Raymond Poe keeps still in base, it could be in trouble for Patriots. Nick did get the strike on that, so the count's one and one, with one away in the top of the first. Runner on second for the Green Raiders. One, one. Russo takes a look back at second in the pitch. And a swing, big swing there by Mike Lucello. Counts now one, two with one away. Mike Lassell has an outward batting stance. Yes, he doesn't he does. like to clog the plate. No. Stands very far away from it. And the pitch, grounded to second. Throw to first, and he's out at first. The runner advances to third. Up, up next is Joe Borelli. Joe Borelli, most likely the power hitter batting in the cleanup spot. Danny Albanese retires Mike Lasello on the throw down to first base. The runner did advance to third. So we have two outs with a runner on third in the top of the first. Nick Russo now doesn't really have to worry about the runner stealing home. Rarely you'll see that in baseball. And the pitch, low for ball one. Tried throwing the curveball there. 
Crusoe falling quickly behind the count, but he can certainly catch yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's only 1-0. The pitch, it's high. Nick's now behind 2-0. But he has an open base at first, so he really doesn't have anything to worry about by giving up a walk here in this situation. Borelli does have a good eye. Joe Borelli is taking a few pitches. The pitch, that's ball outside. Now it counts 3-0. Nick can't afford to give him a fat one right down the middle of the plate here with an open base at first. And it's high, high and inside, he walks him. Now you got runners on the corners, one out, they may be looking for a double play. Runners on, well right now there's two outs. So there's all they need really is one out right now and they'll be out of the inning. <laughs> Lefty hitter. We got a lefty here, number nine, Corey Kuzmik, playing first base today for the Green Raiders. It's very rare that you see a lefty hitter. Usually they yeah. pull the ball. Yep, mostly they do pull the ball, these lefty hitters. That's a strike. Nick throws a nice pitch for a strike, counts 0 and 1 with two outs. Top of the first. Here we are at Patriot Field. Both runners taking big lead. They are. Stealing second, the throw down. Didn't even reach second base. Didn't reach second on the throw. Looks as though the second base and Danny Albanese just cut that one off. So now we have runners both in scoring position here with two outs, counts 0 and 1. Nick Russo looks in, gets the sign. The pitch is fouled off. It's now quickly 0-2. Big pitch here for Nick Russo. Makes some good strike here, and they're out of the inning. Now the batter has to guard the plate. Yes, it does. Batter's trying to guard the plate. Both sides, very difficult. And the pitch, high. Counts 1-2. He's allowed to lose that one. Coach Ionel is really rallying the troops. Definitely don't want to fall behind early in the game. No. Russo with the pitch here. And it's fouled off behind the backstop. Count stays one and two. After the fouled off pitch, count still one and two. Corey Kuzmik digs in, waiting for the pitch from Nick Russo. Russo looks in, and here's the pitch. It's high. Looked to see pretty close to the play. I mean, it looked like it was in the strike zone. Nick Russo doesn't seem to be bothered by it, takes the mound again. Oh, fly ball, hit down the right-hand side, and it's foul. Looks good though, Corey Kuzmik got a good piece of that ball. Oh, definitely. He might not yeah. want to throw him that pitch again. He's pulling it, but... Uh, he is he, pulling it like he looks like lefties yeah. pull it, yes. Nick doesn't want to give Corey that pitch again. Count 2-2, two, two, two away in the top of the first runners on second and third. Nick Russo deals to Corey Kuzmik. And the pitch. Strike three called by the umpire. Nick Russo with a fabulous curveball there to end the top of the first with runners on second and third. That was really a great way for him to get out of the inning. Oh, definitely. He had a little trouble first, yeah. but uh, he at the end he improved. He got that first out quick, and then yeah. he got stuck on that second out there. Happens got, to all pitchers. Yeah, though. it does. Runners were on second and third, and it was really great to see him get out of that battle there. Taking the bound will be Brad Gilmore. Pretty dominating pitcher. Yeah, he is a pretty good pitcher. Brad Gilmore is right now 2-0. and And with no losses, I mean, you can't argue with that kind of record. He must be doing something right for Ramapo, so. Catching for him will be Joe Borelli. So Joe hopefully Borelli they have catcher, yeah. some chemistry hopefully between Hopefully they work well together. Joe can block the balls for him in the dirt and everything.
Steve Lacasse will be uh, batting first. Steve Lacasse going to be leading off number 26 for Wayne Hills Patriots in the bottom of the first. Be a really good runner to get on first. He's got some speed, steal second. Yeah, he wants to definitely score runs early in the game. Yeah, you get that early lead early in the game, and it really puts the pressure on the other team in the later innings. So you really got to put the onus on the pitchers in these early innings to not let their teams fall behind. Lacoste is watching the pitcher, getting to know his pitches, yeah. where they go. Seeing what kind of pitches he throws, if he's feeling it today, or if he's kind of throwing them outside. If he can't find the area of the plate. Pitchers are different every day. Some days they'll have good stuff, some days they'll be thrown out way outside. The umpire is saying one more pitch, and then we're going to get the bottom of the first started here. Catcher, yep. catcher looks to have an average arm, so uh, yeah. runners may want to test it. Yeah, ca catcher's nothing special back there with that arm, so we'll see what Steve can do. Like you said, he has speed, so if he gets on, he may take off. Yeah. Lacasse well, takes the box. Steve Lacasse with a far stance away from home plate. We'll see what he can do here. Takes first pitch strike. Called strike by the umpire there. Seemed to be a fastball right at the yeah, knees, maybe just above the knees. Hard throw. hard throw there. And the pitch, here it comes. Ooh, takes that one on the outside corner. Count quickly 0 and 2. Quickly 0 and 2. Brad Gilmore seems to be working really fast here. Not taking that long in between pitches. With the 0-2 pitch here from Brad Gilmore. Throws it high and inside. Brushing Steve Lacasse off the plate there a little bit. Yeah, some pitchers like to uh, throw it inside so that, you know they to, have a to make them back away. Definitely. The one two pitch here from Gilmore. Steve's swinging, and it's out at second base. Shooter Hunt with the catch at second base. Now batting is Danny Albanese. Playing second base for the Wayne Hills Patriots today. In the on-deck circle, we have Kyle Kavanaugh, number nine, playing center field today. Brad Gilmore takes the rubber, looks in, winds back in the pitch, it's high, counts 1-0 and oh, with one away in the bottom of the first. Brad pitches, deals, and it's high again. Danny, unlike uh, Lacasse, he has a more closer approach to the yeah, plate. Yeah, closer approach to the does. Gilmore deals, and it's low. Counts three and oh. You you think Danny would be taken all the way here? Oh, definitely. Looking to get a runner on early, scoring early run in the first inning here. Brad's having a similar uh, approach as Nick yeah. Russo. Got that first quick out. Right. Gilmore deals here, three out. Ooh, that's a late strike called by the umpire there. Hit the inside corner of the plate. He must have caught the inside <laughs> corner there. Late call there. Counts now three and one. Might still want to take this one. Unless he gets it right down the middle of the plate, he might be taking here. And it's high. So quickly there's uh, one runner on first. Runner on first with one away, bottom of the first. Kyle Kavanaugh steps in. And on deck we have Ryan Green, number 19. The most Kyle Kavanaugh has been in sort of a slump this year. 
Looks to be breaking out of it here, hopefully today against Rampon. Gilmore deals, and it's low. Counts 1-0 with a runner on first. They'll be looking Danny for the double play. Might be looking for the double play here. Shortstop, second baseman, playing double play depth. Gilmore looks in. And it's high. Counts 2-0. Kyle seems to be a very sound hitter in taking his pitches. Not over aggressive after the ball. Deals inside, 3 0. Looks as though Gilmore might have lost the strike zone. Yeah, he's thrown several balls. Seems to throw seven out of his last eight pitches, been out of the strike zone. Wouldn't be surprised if he walks Kyle here to see Joe Burrell go out and talk to him. Maybe calm him down a little bit. Gilmore deals right down the fat part of the plate there. Counts now three and one. Working from behind is no way any pitcher wants to work from, but Gilmore got himself in this mess, so he's gonna have to get himself out of it. Deals, and it's on the inside part of the plate, ball four. First and second, only one out. Wayne could, Hills first and second with one away. Could mean trouble for Gilmore. The, the cleanup hitter, Ryan Green, steps in. They're going to meet with the pitcher just to make sure, you know, he well, hasn't yes. lost his focus. Yeah, I, I wasn't surprised by that meeting with the pitcher after walking two in a row. Yes. Hopefully they'll be able to calm him down, get in his spots. Yeah, calm him down. With a big batter like Ryan Green. You know, he already has three homers on the season, so. Antonio and Bimbo, number 24, playing third base today is in the um, batter circle. Gilmore is going to try to find the strike zone once again. Borelli went out and tried to calm him down. We'll see how Green faces him. Green with a big hit. Singles to center field. All runners advance. Ryan Green with a base hit to right center field. Could mean trouble. Base is loaded. Base one is out. loaded. One out. Antonio and Bimbo steps in. Joe Ligori steps into the batter circle, playing first base today for Wayne Hills Patriots. Gilmore now in a little pickle. He's got to look for a pop up in the infield. Pop up on the infield. Infield fly rule. Still looking for that double play. Gilmore deals, and it's a strike. Strike right above the knees there to Antonio and Bimbo. Gilmore looks in. Antonio gets a good hit. Antonio doubles to left center field, scoring two. Two RBIs on the double there by Antonio and Bimbo, a solid hit there. Quickly, two nothing lead, could mean trouble. For two nothing lead for the Wayne Hills Patriots here in the bottom of the first inning. Ryan Green on third, Antonio on second. That was an excellent hit by Antonio, taking that ball to left center field there. Catcher's gonna make a meeting with the pitcher. He, he just missed that one by not not much. Not he much. Just missed at all. the fast part, fat part of the bat there. At first I thought that might that ball might have had a chance, but no, I did see like a fall in the outfield. He got it right so. in the middle of the barrel. Yeah, he got that good. Just missed the big fat part on that bat though, or else he had that one. Grand slam. Would have been nice. Instead he gets the two RBIs there on the double. Ramapo. Catchers and um, coaches are out to speak with Brad Gilmore, who seems to be having trouble orally here in the first, with only one away still and runners on second and third. Pitcher wants so, to find a way to get out of this inning. Pitcher, don't want to fall behind pitcher really needs to find a way to get out of this inning here. Joe Ligori steps in. Janae Chowdhury on deck. Number one playing shortstop today. And Ligori... Taking the first pitch for a ball. Counts quickly 1-0. Wayne Hill seems to be a very disciplined team with taking pitches here. 
All batters have good eyes. They do. Gilmore deals. Janae fouls that straight up. Counts one and one. Seems as though that pitch kind of jammed him there. Yep. Got him on the inside of the bat. Coach High makes his players work hard, Does and it certainly coaching. pays off. Yes. One, one. Counts one and one, one away here in the bottom of the first. Runners second and third. Gilmore looks in at the sign. Gilmore deals. Joe smacks it up to the shortstop, falls away, throws him out at first base, and the runner holds at third. Pitcher relieved by that one. Pitcher's glad to see that there's now two outs left in the inning. There's two outs away in the inning with only one to go, so he'll be able to throw more pitches here. Instead of throwing it directly in the strike zone, he'll be able to throw yeah, He'll be able to try to hit those corners again, paint the outside of the plate. Gilmore seems to be uh, taking a little walk around on the mound there, brushing off some dirt. Janae Chowdhury steps in the shortstop. Fouled off. Fouls off the first pitch, it's now 0 and 1. Fouled straight up. <laughs> Both runners not taking big leads. You don't no. give up an opportunity no, you to score. Don't. Exactly. One or plus runs. Yep. Gilmore looks in. Sets, deals. Janae gets a good piece of it. It's a foul ball down the right hand side. Out of play, well out of play there. So Janae's glad to see that. He'll get to come in one more time. Batter doesn't have much power, but he certainly gets the job done. He, he does. He's excellent in the field. Chris Hughes is on the on deck circle, catcher for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Janae looks in at the 0-2 pitch. That's a foul ball. Good contact hitter. He's a very good contact hitter. Doesn't seem to strike out it much. Is making contacts, fouling off some tough, tough pitches. Just hopes that one that he likes comes his way. He just needs to get the ball, on the bat on the fat part of the ball. Get a good hit, drive it right up the middle, maybe get two RBIs here. Runners will be running with two outs. Gilmore deals. Janae hits it high to the second baseman. See if this, he makes the out. Well, that was a great inning for Wayne Hills. They did score two runs on the Antonio and Mimbo um, double to left center field. They lead, they lead 2 nothing going two, into the second inning. 2 nothing. that's positive. You always want to see them up on Ramapo early. You know, Ramapo will always be making their run. So it's good to get those runs early and off. They left on Ryan Green at third and Antonio at second. But with that lead early, they should be happy. Coach Ionel must be pleased with the early offense. Ramapo is a good team. You got to, Nick Russo can't lose his concentration. He's got to pitch well. Got to hope Nick Russo comes out with that same stuff he had in the first inning. Except for that one time he fell behind the batter and walked him, but that was fine because he had base to give up with a runner on third there. No pitchers perfect. They always lose focus yes. sooner or later. A little nervous first inning, but once that's over with, yep. they're just good. Gotta, just got to get those jitters out of your stomach, you know, and then, yeah, you're pretty much fine. Infielders taking grounders. Taking grounders. The outfielders have a little long toss during the breaks in the innings. Ramapo's got the heart of their lineup coming in. Got Hopefully, the the got the five, six, seven hitters coming up. Hopefully, they'll be able to drive in some runs. Rampo's just letting him get, looking to get that first run, first batter on base. Maybe put the hit and run on in motion. Coach is taking their position. 
Number 23, Kevin Askely steps in, the DH designated hitter today. The umpire calls time. Now we're ready to play baseball once again. Top of the second, here we are. Wayne Hill's up 2-0, Russo deals. Solid hit right back to Nick. Nick throws him out at first. One pitch, one out in the top of the second here. Nick shows that he not only can pitch, but he, all, he can also, also knows a glove award. Also knows how to play the field. Nick Russo has to be pleased to see that. One pitch, one out. Save his arm for the later innings. Steve Gigante up. Pitches inside. Steven Gigante playing center field today for the Rampo Green Raiders. Takes the first pitch inside. Counts 1 0. Nick deals. Makes contact. Janade tries stopping it at second, but it skips past him on the hop. Good effort by the shortstop. You gotta you got wonder how they'll rule that. Maybe base hit or an error. Oh. I, mean, I don't know if he had a chance at that one or if it solid hit there, maybe. So that's the pass, and now they have Steve Gigante on him first base with one away. In steps the pitcher, Brad Gilmore, who gave up two runs in the first inning, so he'd like to be getting some of those back to help his own cause here. Russo deals. Gilmore makes contact, fouls it straight up, though. Counts 0-1. Russo wants to get ahead of those batters early and often, so he doesn't fall behind. Oh, definitely. Once you fall behind, you lose focus, you lose concentration, exactly. you start throwing balls. Russo goes for the pick off the first. Gigante's back in time. It's always harder for a right-hand pitcher to have a good pickoff mood since they have to turn their body. Try stealing second, but Gilmore fouls it off. Counts now 0-2 with one out. Runner did go on that. Runner was trying to steal for second there. It was a hit and run. Russo go pick off. That was closer than the last one. Runner taking a big lead. You don't want to take it too big. Too big of a lead. You're put at risk. Yes. Russo's concentrating very hard. He's stealing second. Pitches in the dirt. The throw down to second. He's in time. Gigante steals second base on the pitch there. That was in the dirt. That's a tough pitch to try to throw out a runner on in the dirt. You gotta dig it out of the dirt and then get up and throw down second very hard for a catcher. Russo's trying to get his curveball over the plate here right now. Chris Hughes making a good scoop. To let Chris Hughes is protecting that plate so the runner doesn't steal third right now. Counts 2-2, two, two, one away. Top of the second, Russo deals. Makes contact, foul down the third base line. Runner standing on second base. Umpire's taking a look at the baseball. Seems to want a new one. They give Russo a new ball. He's going to be ready to deal again. Two balls, two strikes. Count 2-2, two, two, one away, top of the second. Russo looks in for the signs. Deals. Check swing, strike three there. Gilmore goes down on the check swing. Couldn't hold up. Couldn't hold up there. Now batting's the ninth hitter, number five. Center fielder James Leach. I'm watching him. With two away here, top of the second with the runner on second. Yeah, we got two outs. Out. He shouldn't be that worried about the runner on second right now. She needs to concentrate on getting out the number nine hitter here. Russo deals. It's outside. Ball one. With two out and a runner on second, you want to make sure you don't hit a fly ball. You want to hit a, a nice line single. Not, not hit too hard so the outfielder can uh, That's a very good point. You don't want to hit it too hard or else the outfielder's yeah. winning. You, you want the runner to advance. 
Russo called on a block there. Runner takes third. One ball. It's rare that you ever Coach see Coach is going to go out and ask the umpire what he did wrong. Asking for an explanation on why they gave runner the third there on the block call. Coach Ionel seems satisfied and takes a walk back to the dugout. Our runner will come home and now. And that ball call really seems to hurt them there. James Leach gets the base hit to short center field, scores the runner. Scores now two to one. Wayne Hills leads in the top of the second with two outs here. Russo can't let that bother him here. He has to just focus now, get that one more out. Russo looks in, deals, throws it high. Shooter hunts now up again. Top back to the top of the order for the Rampo Green Raiders. Second baseman today, also their ace pitcher. Looking for his first hit of the game. Shooter was retired early in the first inning. Russo deals. Runner stealing second. Pitch in the dirt. With Couldn't the pitch in the dirt, it. Chris Hughes doesn't even bother with the throw down to second. That's three stolen bases for Rampo already, and we're only in the top it of the second. It does pose a threat now. Runner on second, a single will score him. Single will score him with two outs here. Count two and now. Russo deals. Swing through the pitch there, and that's strike one. Counts two and one. Russo seemed to have fooled him there maybe with that pitch. He seemed a little out in front. Russo looks in. Balls hit well to left field. Steve LaCasse tracks down that ball and makes the catch to end the inning. He made a great catch. That was a great catch or else the game would have been tied there. Instead, we have Wayne Hills leading 2-1, to one, going to the bottom of the second. He had to really run to catch up to that ball. Yeah, Steve did make a good jump on that ball. And good thing he caught that or else we would have a tie game here. Wayne Hills comes together between every inning. Have a good pep talk to rally the troops. Get everyone ready for the. Get everyone ready to bat. Gilmore wants to pitch well, so the uh, Patriots don't get some insurance runs. And yeah. Get a big lead. Justin Donnarumma will be the first batter here in the bottom of the second. Sophomore. It's very, very good for a sophomore to be playing varsity baseball. He also saw some time last year as a freshman, I know, so he must have something very special when it comes to playing baseball. Gilmore was helped out by his teammates last inning. They gave him back a run. So it's a one-run game here in the bottom of the second. Gilmore doesn't want to give up any more runs and make uh, put all the weight on his batters. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave it up to the batting to. Uh, he'd like to retire these Wayne Hills Patriots batters early and often. Save his arm for the later innings, get through it. You certainly don't want to use up all your pitchers. No. Nah. The infielders come together with the pitcher, have a quick meeting before we get the inning started. Everybody wants to make sure they know Know what, what they're, they're gonna doing. do with certain amount of outs, what the count is. Chris Hughes steps in, catcher for Wayne Hills. The umpire calling time to move some Green Raiders out of the field of play. View of the batter, actually. I mean. Play. Gilmore looks to deal here. It's Chris Hughes, catcher Wayne Hills, and the pitch. He's smacked foul behind the backstop here. Chris got a very good rip on that ball there. 
Hughes is playing well well behind the plate for Russo, scooping up the Hughes ball. Hughes is, yes. He's dug some of those balls out of dirt so the runners can't advance past second on those stolen bases. He's played good defense. Let's see how he can do on offense. Seems to have a very good rip there on that first pitch. We'll see how he does now. Counts 0-1. Ball's low. Counts now 1-1. One one. No outs here in the bottom of the second. Hughes ready for the pitch. Gilmore sets. Gilmore deals. And Hughes fouls it straight back. Counts now one and two. Hughes getting the pitches he wants, but he's not being able to get the bat right he's on top get, of the ball. He's not getting the bat around in time. One, two. The umpire calls out the count, one and two. Gilmore looks in. And here's the pitch. Foul again. Count stays one and two. Chris Hughes seems to be really fighting off these tough pitches here. Maybe just needs to get that bat out in front a little more. If he does that, he may be able to get Maybe a solid hit. Solid hit, yeah. Single, double. Hughes sets. Gilmore looks in at the sign. Gilmore deals. The pitch is smacked to the third baseman. See how the third baseman, third baseman gets Chris Hughes at first base. One away here in the bottom of the second. Third baseman seemed to really gobble that ball right up, throw him out at first. No problems there on the routine ground ball. Routine. Batting now is Justin Donnarumma, the ninth batter on the team today. Steve LaCasse is warming up. Justin. He's, ooh, squares around for the bunt. Donnarumma also a sophomore. He, he is. He's also got some skill. Must have some skill if he's playing varsity baseball as a sophomore, so. He plays shortstop and he also pitches. Yes, he does. He's a great pitcher, actually, for Wayne Hills. Gilmore deals. Oh, that's a low, low strike. Umpire calls a very low strike there. Justin can't be happy about these low strikes being called. Count one and one, one away here. Gilmore deals. Called strike two there. The umpire in my opinion. Counts now one and two. The umpire in my opinion is giving Gilmore a little bit bigger of a strike zone than he is Russo. Yeah, it seems Russo. I don't, don't want to say the umpire is playing favorites here, but you never know. You can always call that into consideration during any game. Taking a long break here is the pitcher. Seems to be setting his jersey, tucking it in. Those can be signs of uh, maybe fatigue or uh, fatigue. losing his concentration. Losing his concentration, Confidence. I would say, early here in the second inning. So not fatigue, yet. fatigue will set in later, I believe. Gilmore deals. Justin takes the pitch low, counts, it. counts now 2-2, two -two, one away. Justin with almost like a Gary Sheffield-like batting approach here. Time. Umpire time. calls time. The umpire brushes off the plate. Maybe the pitcher was having a tough time trying to see it. Back to play ball. Bases are empty. Bases are empty with one out here in the bottom of the second. Two to one, Wayne Hills. Gilmore deals. A good hit by Justin. Up the middle of the infield for a single. That seemed to have awoken the Wayne Hills bench. Justin got the pitch he wanted and scorched it into Justin right field. Justin that right back up the center. Center of the infield right through the middle. He's got some speed. You may he see does him go. Speed. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to steal a base or two. So now we have 
one on first base with one away here in the bottom of the second. Steve LaCasse, top of the order is now up. So Wayne Hills has to be happy to see the top of the order come back up. Pitcher deals from the stretch and that ball is high. Gilmore seems to be concentrating more on the runner on first rather than the batter. And what he really needs Gilmore to do is really does need to just focus in on the batter here. Gilmore deals. Ball's popped up to the second baseman. Two outs now here in the bottom of the second. In steps Danny Albanese, second baseman. Gilmore reviewed by that play. Danny Albanese steps in. Runner on first. Two away though. Bottom of the second. Wayne Hills leads two to one. Gilmore looks in. He's going to deal from the stretch. Ball's low. Counts now one and now. Gilmore takes his place on the rubber. Takes a look in at Borelli. Gets the sign. Deals. Called strike there. Steal on the second. And he's safe. Justin steals second there on the called strike. Catcher would have had him, but the throw was just a little off target. Throws a little to the left there, or else he might have had him. Makes a shortstop have to stretch. Makes a shortstop have to swipe across his body in order to try to get the out there. Or else that was a very good throw by Joe Borelli there. Justin does, though, get the credit for the steal there. Count one and one, two away. Runner on second. Gilmore deals. Balls hit hard, foul down the first base side, well out of play. Kyle Kavanaugh's warming up. One ball, two strikes. Gilmore's taking his time to get back on the rubber. He's in no rush, clearly. Runner on second, two away. Albanese. Seems to be getting, making good contact with the ball. Back up the middle, second baseman, Fields, throws Danny out at first base. That's the end of the bottom of the second, end of the second inning. We're going to be going to the top of the third shortly. Still two to one. This team switched from the outfield to the dugout. Wayne Hills will be taking the field now. Russo's back on the mound, seems to be working just fine. It's only allowed up one run. That run shouldn't have even happened after they called that ball call. Wayne Hills is a, a hitting team. They, they do make I very know. good contact. Russo warming up. Pitchers always take a few pitches, five, ten pitches in between innings. Make sure their arms loose when they face a the batter. The infielders throw it around the infield. Outfielders have that long cross to keep everyone focused. Russo seems to be getting it over the plate pretty well. Let's just go over the positions one more time. We got um, Steve LaCasse out in left, Kyle Cavanaugh in center, Ryan Green in right field today for the Patriots. That's the outfield. On the infield, the Patriots have Antonio and Bimbo at third, Janae Chowdhury at shortstop, Danny Albanese covering at second, and Joel Liguori at first. Nick Russo is pitching, and Chris Hughes behind the plate. Russo deals. Swinging strike one there, counts now 0-1. Head on the way in. 0-1, Russo deals. Hit to the third baseman. Antonio tries making a diving play, but skips past him. That's a lead-off single. Ball was hit too hard for a third baseman to catch up Yeah, it might have been. Lead-off single for Charlie Grinatello. Took a trick, trick bounce. Really. It did, yeah. Charlie Grinatello with that lead-off single. In steps Mike Lucello, third baseman for Ramapo.
Russo's going to be careful with his pickoff move now that he's called for a block in the second inning. Russo deals. Ball's high. First pitch, throw down. Counts 1 0 with no outs here in top of the third. Russo looks at the runner at first. Deals. Runner stealing second to throw down to second. And he's in there safely. Throw was way off target. Throw was way to the right. Charlie Granatello steals second there. Counts 2 0. That puts uh, Ramapo at a good advantage. Time running. Really puts the rusher. Pressure on Nick Russo here to make a quality pitch here. Ball's hit to Antonio, third baseman, throws over to first. Trying to get the double play here. He's safe at third. They get the sure out at first, though. So we now have one away, top of the third, runner on third for Ramapo. Anything really hit out of the infield will score the run. A deep fly ball here should score the runner at third. So he's going to be looking to get a ground ball here to hold the runner at third. Nick Russo deals here to Joe Borelli. Called strike one. Joe Borelli, a good hitter. Joe Borelli, solid hitter, also their catcher. Here's Counts quickly 0 and 2 from Russo. This would be a great out for Russo to get here with a run on third. He really needs this one. The umpire is now giving Ramapo Green Raiders a warning to the bench. Two strikes. Russo looks in, counts 0 2. One out here in top of the third. Russo deals. Check swing there. Clearly held up in time. Borelli has a good eye. You saw him throwing the second one, two, earlier. Borelli does. Not able to get him out, but he does have a good arm. Held up just enough there. Russo deals here on the one, two. And strike three there on the swing. That was an excellent pitch by Nick Russo. High in the zone, the batter's trying to protect the whole plate. So he's going to take his chances to try to swing at that ball and clearly missed it, swung right through it. Okay. Nick's very happy to see that there's now two outs with that runner on third. Any out gets them out of this inning. In steps number nine, the first baseman, Corey Kuzmik. Only lefty on the team. Only lefty on the team here. Lefties usually do pull the ball. Pitch was high and outside. Counts 1-0. Russo deals strike one, counts one and one, two away. That was a great pitch there by Russo down at the knees. Batter seems to be taking. Russo's dealing quickly here. Russo deals, swing, swung right through that one. Seems though he was a little late on that one. Yes, it does. So Russo's got some velocity behind that pitch there. Velocity, control, he's hit, definitely hitting his spots now. Hitting his spots today. Russo deals one, two. Called strike three there. Russo gets out of the inning. Got himself into a jam and gets himself out of the inning with a great pitch there. Russo started a little slow in the beginning of the game, but now he's starting to Russo be a little seems more to be finding everything. Teams come together again as we go to the middle of the inning. Middle of the third here, soon bottom of the third with Wayne Hills coming up to bat. Wayne Hills still leads, bottom of the third, two to one. that the uh, Wayne Hills Patriots now have the three, four, five hitters coming up bottom of the third, so the part of their lineup will be batting. Hopefully he'll be able to get, knock in some more runs. Not, that's exactly what they're looking for. Kyle Cavanaugh will be leading off the inning.
Kyle, the center fielder for Wayne Hills, covers a lot of range out there. Pretty good with the bat. Like I said, it's early slump early in the season, but it seems to be coming around to things. Hitting the ball much better. Gilmore seems to still have a lot of speed on his pitches. Gilmore does have a lot of speed. Throwing maybe low to mid-70s. Throw similar to Russo. Similar to Russo. Almost has the same build as Russo. Tall. It has a little more weight than Russo, so his legs are more powerful coming through the zone. But they both can be dominant, yet sometimes they'll walk a few batters. Yeah. Once again, they'll have a meeting at the mound. Meeting at the mound before every inning, it seems to be routine for the Rampo Green Raiders. Wayne Hills has their knees in between innings. Borelli takes a walk back behind home plate. Okay, here we go, Kyle sets. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gilmore deals. And that pitch is low. Counts one and up. Gilmore sets the pitch. Swung through by Kavanaugh. Kyle is a solid contact hitter. Hopefully he'll be able to get something started for the Patriots. Gilmore sets. Gilmore takes a... Gilmore steps off the mound as the umpire brushes off the plate. Gilmore sets. Looks in for the sign. Swung foul down the first base side. Counts one and two. No outs here, bottom of the third inning. Just a little late on that pitch. One ball, two strikes. Kyle seems to be making contact just since getting to play a field here. Gilmore pitches. Ball's, ball's high there. Counts two, two. Two, two. Gilmore sets on the rubber. Count 2-2. Two, two. Pitches. Ball's low in the dirt. Now counts full 3-2. Kyle's got a good eye, obviously. Be really good for uh, Wayne Hill's sake to get Kyle Cavanaugh off on first base. But no outs. Great steal threat. Very fast. Pitch in the dirt. So Wayne Hill's is very happy to see Kyle's on first base now with no outs. He's got, got great speed, and now you got a good batter coming up to the plate. you got the most powerful hitter on the team coming up, Ryan Green. Most home runs on the season so far for Wayne Hills. Hopefully the Patriots will be able to get something started. Gilmore's now going to have to keep checking off the runner on first base, try to hold him. Gilmore deals from the stretch. Called strike one. You want to hold the runner at first, but you definitely don't want to just concentrate on the yes. runner. You want to mainly put your attention towards the batter and concentrate on getting him out. That runner at first is important, but... Called strike two. The umpire calling it maybe a little differently here. Quickly 0 and 2 on Ryan Green. Steps out. Has to guard the plate now. He's got to cover all parts of the plate now. Gilmore deals. Swung through by Green. It's one away now in the bottom of the third. Doesn't seem too happy with himself. Perfect opportunity for Gilmore to get a, the batter to get into a ground out. Antonio play. and Bimbo with the double, two RBIs, top, bottom of the first. Now batting here in the bottom of the third with runner on first. 
pitch is high. Borelli looks back, having off at first base. He's thrown several balls in a row. He's lost his control. Hopefully he can get it back. Gilmore deals. Kavanaugh trying to steal second. Not even a throw down to second. Kavanaugh easily steals second base there. Didn't have to slide, but he took it safe and no slid slide. anyway. No slide there, but he did. Batter has a stance like Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell. Knees bent. Gilmore deals. Swung through by Antonio. Counts now two and one, one out. Runner on second, bottom of the third. Wayne Hills leads two to one. Looking to get a run in and take the pressure off of Russo. Gilmore deals, counts two one. Gilmore looks back second on the pitch. Pitch is called at the knees for a strike. Counts now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Count 2-2. Two, two. Antonio's now going to be covering all parts of the plate. Gilmore pitches. Hit by Antonio down the first base side, but foul. Antonio had the stretch for that one. He did reach out for that one, but like I said, he's got to cover all parts of the plate. So he does have to stretch for those balls and foul those hard pitches off. Two, two. Antonio. Gilmore deals. Antonio makes contact. In between the first and second baseman, around comes Kavanaugh. Kyle slides safely, taking out the catcher, Borelli. And R Wayne Hills now leads 3-1. to one. That was a great hit. Not hit. That was a great hit. slide by... If it, hit, if it was hit faster to the outfielder... The runner would have never made it home. That was a great slide by Kyle Kavanaugh, completely taking out the catcher there. When you're the runner going home, you got to make sure that the catcher doesn't hold on to the ball. You want to try and knock it out of his hands. Yeah, and the catcher didn't even have a chance at that ball. Kyle took him out even before it was in his mitt. Antonio now with three RBIs. All three runs are Antonio's counted for on the board. Seems to be the well-producing third baseman for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Joe Ligori steps in, first baseman for Wayne Hills. Janae Chowdhury is in the batter circle. One out here, runner on first, Antonio. Pitches outside. Joe, as we remember in the first inning, took, took everything for a walk, so he's willing to take the pitches, take the walk. Patriots getting things done this inning, looking to extend their lead. Looking to extend the lead, extend the inning. Antonio, possible threat to steal. Oh, and the pitcher throwing at people's heads here. This oh, pitcher wait. might be losing his control here. Yeah, definitely, he's getting a little I wouldn't nervous. be surprised to see if the umpire may warn him sooner or later. That might actually brush Joe Liguori a little bit off the plate. Gilmore sets on the rubber, looks in for the signs. Here comes the pitch, and it's hit, popped up down the first base side, and it's foul. First baseman Corey Kuzmik for Rampo tried running that one down, but the ball is too far down the right field side for him to make any attempt at it. Two, one. A lot of fans in attendance here for the big rivalry game. It's no shock there, though, on such a great day for baseball. It's the bottom of the third. Patriots lead 3-1. to one. Gilmore deals. Fouled off again by Ligori. Count stays 2-2. Two -two. Runner was going on that pitch. Uh, 
One out here, bottom of the third. Wayne Hills leads three to one. Count two two. Antonio on first base with a runner on. Ligori. Joe's taking, counts now full, three and two. Janae Chowdhury on deck. Shortstop for Wayne Hills. That's the second pitch where the batter has had to duck to avoid Let's see if maybe getting hit. Joe can pick up his second walk today. And he does. Pitch well in the dirt. Pitcher's losing his control. Ligori with his second walk of the day. Antonio moves on down to second. Runners first and second, one away here, bottom of the third. Infield will meet with the pitcher. Gilmore's now going to be dealing to Janaid. Only one out here, two men on. First and second for Wayne Hills. Janaid sets himself in the box. Gilmore deals. Called strike. Counts now 0 and 1. You gotta wonder if the pitcher, uh, if the coach of Rempo wants to warm up in our pitcher, because with uh, runners on first and second, they can extend well, the inning. Well, I don't know if he'd really want to think about warming up another pitcher here, only in the bottom of the third. Gilmore sets, dealing from the stretch right now. Janae makes contact, foul down the first baseline. Corey Kuzmik makes a diving attempt, but. Indeed, it was an attempt at that. He yeah, it was a make great the catch. Attempt. First baseman making a good effort. Couldn't reach it, but. Janaid's glad to see that he didn't catch that one. He'll get another shot at it. Counts 0 2. Janaid's going to be protecting all parts of the plate here. 0 2. Make that pitch work for you, Gilly. Make that pitch work for you. Gilmore looks in for the signs. Gets them from Borelli. Sets, deals. Janae makes contact, back up the middle. That'll score a run here. No, it won't. Coach Ionello's maybe surprisingly holding the runners. I think some people here at the game might have been surprised that Ionello holds the runner there. Well, the ball was retrieved by the fielder and he threw it quickly into the infield. I don't think if the runner would have had any chance of making it home. You don't think? I don't know, that might come back to haunt the uh, Patriots by holding the runner there. Double play still in, in effect here, so. Thank you. you never know if maybe Inel is going to double question himself later in the game about not sending the runner home there. One out. Chris Hughes steps in, catcher for Wayne Hills. Bases are loaded with only one out here, bottom of the third for the Patriots. Gilmore deals. Hughes swings through the pitch. Strike one, counts now 0-1. Hughes definitely looking for a big hit there. Hughes might be swinging for the fences here. It's always nice to say, oh, I hit a grand slam. Pitch well in the dirt. Borelli does a good job jumping all over that one so the runners don't advance. Pitcher also did well hustling to the plate. Hustling to the plate to cover for the catcher. Pitchers have to do so much more than just throw strikes. They have to be good at fielding, they have to cover the plate. Count 0 2 here. Ball is way high. Seems to be a problem with the scoreboard right now. Counts two and one right now, actually. We lied to you about the one, two. Fouled off. Count stays two, two. Batter guarding the plate. Gilmore gave him the fat one right down the middle of the plate there. Chris probably wants that one back. Count 2-2, two, two, one away, base is loaded here. Gilmore sets batter, himself on the rubber. Batters always get a good pitch that they don't take advantage of and then they'll, they'll just yeah. come back and say, hey, give it to me again. Gilmore deals, makes contact. 
and that's a base hit. That'll score one for the Patriots. Here comes another. Down gets Joe Liguori scores the second run for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Chris Hayes picks up two RBIs. They're on the R two RBI single there for him. Very well done by Chris Hughes. Wayne Hills now leads five to one. Patriots now increasing their lead, taking some of the stress off of pitcher Nick Russo. Patriots with runners on first and third. Chris Hughes on first. Janae Chattery on third. Justin Donnarumma steps in, who had a single in the second inning. 20 for 31. Beginning by the Patriots hoping to increase their lead. Patriots, this has already been a beginning for them by increasing the lead two more runs. They now lead five to one here, bottom of the third. Both sides realize how important this game is to the division, both at six and one. Justin sets himself. Gilmore looks to deal here. The fake to third look to first move there by Gilmore. That usually doesn't work too often. You always see the bonehead in the major leagues who will always fall for that one, but. Ball's well in the dirt. Stealing second is Chris Hughes. There goes the double play for Ramapo if there was anything to see. And now Wayne Hills has runners second and third with only one out. Ball didn't even reach the plate. Certainly. Ball didn't reach the plate. Gilmore has certainly lost all of his control. Wayne Hills runner second and third, so there eliminates the double play. Patriots have to be happy to see that. This will just extend their already great inning. Gilmore deals inside. Brushes Justin off the plate just a little bit there. Borelli's out for a talk with Brad Gilmore here. So is the rest of the infielders. They really need to calm them down here. Wouldn't be surprised to see if Ramapo starts warming up another pitcher soon. Like you said, I was a little surprised when you said that not too long ago, but won't be surprised. Now that he is caught in a struggle, they're down four runs. They realize the importance of the game. Justin's a good hitter. He's, he's certainly not out of it, being down five to one. Donnarumma has been known to hit in tough situations. Right, he go. has been known to hit, and only a sophomore. With the count, 2-0 to Justin. One away here, runner second and third for Wayne Hills. Gilmore sets back up on the rubber after the conference with the team. Gilmore deals. Foul down the first base line, well out of play. We need baseballs, Ca coach. Counts now 2-1. and one. The umpire needs baseballs. Justin took a good, at, good cut at the pitch, but he just didn't get all of it. 2-1. Counts two and one. Gilmore sets on the rubber. Runners on first and second. Gilmore sets on the rubber. Gilmore deals. And it's smacked right over the third baseman's head. Scoring two more runs. Janae Chowdhury and Chris Hughes. Two RBI single there for Justin Donnarumma. Patriots. Wayne Hills now leads seven to one. Wayne Hill seems to be a team with a lot of confidence right now. Everyone's hitting on all cylinders. Players are taking the walks. Everyone's hitting. Like I said earlier, like I said earlier, Justin's been known to hit in good key situations, and he certainly has delivered for his team. That was a huge hit by Justin. And now we got top of the order back up once again. Popped up. First baseman calls for it. And that's two away in the bottom of the third. Lacasse flies out. Corey Kuzmik, first baseman ramp up. Gilmore certainly re relieved by that out. That's what he was looking for all along. Gilmore was looking for that out about five batters ago. He's already fallen behind seven to one. Danny Albanese steps in, second baseman. Gilmore sets on the rubber and deals. Oh! Hits him in the back. Sounded as though that one might have hurt. 
But he's a baseball player. He shakes it off. Pitchers are already starting to warm up for Ramapo. Pitchers are warming up down on the third base side for the Ramapo Green Raiders. Kyle Cavanaugh steps in after Danny Albanese was just pegged by the pitch. If Patriots score, ha, score a couple more runs, they could put this game out of reach. Yeah, I said three more runs in, the Patriots should have this game. But you can never feel confident in high school baseball. Everyone's always got pretty good, decent hitters. Gilmore looks back the runner at second, deals. Pitch is called low. It's also early in the game, you know, Rampo can have an inning just like. Early in the game, early in the game. Come back. Gilmore sets and ready to deal. Gilmore, Gilmore deal. deals. Throw back to second. Oh, and it goes into the outfield. Runners first and second, two away here, bottom of the third. Wayne Hills leads seven to one. Kyle Kavanaugh's batting. Score is seven to one, Wayne Hills. Gilmore deals. Gilmore looking for an out in this inning. Gilmore is really looking for this big third out here to get out of this hard inning. Wayne Hills is really having a field day on him out there today. Gilmore deals. Takes ball four. Bases once again loaded for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Ryan Green, who's already batted in the inning, struck out earlier. Looks like the coach is going to have a talk with Gilmore. Coach is going to have a big talk with um See if whether Gilmore he'll change here. the pitcher or... Uh, maybe possibly change the pitcher. Maybe he's trying to keep get some time for the pitcher warming to get ready, to get loose. And it looks like they're going to send him to the showers. Pitcher's going to take an early exit today, sending him to the showers. Gilmore can't be happy with his performance today. Just didn't bring his A game, I guess. That's all you could say. Wasn't finding the strike zone, or maybe Wayne Hills, maybe their bats were just at a hot point right now in the season, and they're hitting everything. They did good in the beginning of the season, but now he sort of lost it this game, just didn't bring his stuff today. Yeah, they, they didn't have their stuff. I guess Gilmore just didn't bring it. They called in number 24 now, Steve Gigante, who was playing center field and now will be the pitcher, the relief pitcher for today, not the starter. We're leaving here in the bottom of the third. pitcher obviously if he were to win today he would take home the win Gilmore would get an undecision hitter for the Patriots getting set to end in the batter's box we're gonna be giving the um, Steve Gigante a little time to warm up here loosen up that arm Gigante doesn't look like he's a dominant pitcher, but who knows? We'll see what he has here. He doesn't have much speed on his pitches, but they certainly move. Yeah, he does, he does have some movement on these pitches. I wouldn't be surprised for the umpire to say, let's play ball one more time right now because he seems to have enough warm up. Bases are loaded. Bases loaded here. Two outs, though. So Gigante only needs to find that one big out here. Get out of this already bad inning for the Rampo Green Raiders. What's going on? Here we have uh, Mo Petraco joining us here. What's going on, guys? No, uh, Rampo's a little overrated, huh? Right? Slightly overrated, as you can tell by today's game. They were both leading, tied for the division at 6-1, and one, but Wayne Hill seems to be handling them pretty readily.
Ryan Green steps in here with the bases loaded, two outs here, bottom of the third. Wasn't a good at bat last time, huh? got caught, got struck, out. Get struck out last at bat. Gigante deals well in the dirt. This guy doesn't look like he has a lot of velocity. No velocity at all. I was noticing that in the warm ups. Rampo doesn't have a strong bullpen. I, I can see that right, yeah, right now. Very weak in the bullpen. And Shooter Hunt, who their ace is, is playing second base today. So. Gigante deals. Called strike there by the umpire. Counts now one and one. Gigante changes it up a little bit. Gigante sets on the rubber, looks in for the signs from Borelli. Gigante deals. Hit by Green to the right field. Right field's got a tracking on that ball, and he makes the catch for the third out to end the bottom of the third. This would be a big win for Wayne Hills if they can pull this one out. This would be huge. It's only win. the third inning. We got four to go, so. Four more innings to play here. Wayne Hills just scored four in the bottom of the third there to move up their lead from three to one to seven to one now. Very good inning for them. Batted around. Batted around, yes. They got Nick Russo taking the mound once again here, top of the fourth. He seems to have his stuff today. Great pitcher today. He really great. is a great pitcher. Only a junior. We'll be seeing him back next year. And, and, he'll, and he'll add us some MPHs to his, yep. uh, to his arm a little bit for next year. Got a large crowd in attendance here for today's game, but that should be no surprise. Obviously. Biggest rivalry in uh, the state. Great rivalry opinion. here. Gilmore obviously upset with his performance today, but maybe Rampo will be able to turn the tables. Mm -hmm. this inning. Looks like uh, Kevin Acorse of DH is coming up. Number 23. Let's see what this kid can do against Russo's great stuff. Russo really does have his stuff today. I mean, I'd be surprised if he lets up more than three runs today. Russo's what, 2 0 on the season? 2 0 on the season. So was Gilmore, though, and I mean, he didn't bring his A game. No surprise. No surprise if Russo is going to be uh, as 2 0 already in the early goings of the season. Yes. Very tall pitcher. Not much weight to him, but you really don't need weight to pitch. It's just how you throw that baseball, and he's got some pretty good stuff. Russo deals. Ball's low and outside. You had a couple of no decisions oh, also, all right? Yes. A few no decisions on the year already. Have to be, because it's, it's already the yeah. eighth game of the season. Yep, eighth game. Almost, we're almost to that halfway <laughs> point up, coming up on that county tournament. Russo yeah. deals. Called strike there on the curveball. Very nice pitch. Counts now one and one. Got to maintain this lead, though. It's big. So we say to the stands, just threw over Peanuts. Poe Vance is munching on that right now. Easy for Ligori. Very easy. Joe Ligori easily covers, eats up that ball at first and just walks it over to first. Hey, well, Ligori's a good player, man. He, he can play anything. He played third base last year, and now he's at first. He's a very good player. He's pretty much like a utility. You just put him anywhere, he'll do it. We got 24 up uh, Steve Gigante, the, actually the relief pitcher that was just in. Chris Hayes tries framing that pitch. Chris Hughes, I'm sorry, tries framing the pitch there. Doesn't, Doesn't look like much of a hitter myself, uh, actually. Russo deals to Gigante here. Pitches outside there. Counts quickly 2 0 with one away here. He's got to get it together right now. He doesn't want to, be, he doesn't want to go in a hole 3 0. Russo deals here, 2 and 1. Ball smacked up the middle. I take that back. Gigante's a very good hitter. He can, get th he can get three on this one. Here. Nah. Good eye by Gigante. He sat on his pitch, drove it in for a single. That was actually a change up by Nick Russo. Changes his stuff up on 2-0. Uh, and oh. I mean, it could be smart, could not be, but it seems like Gigante jumped on that pitch. Gigante jumped on it and made Russo pay there. I want to see uh, Russo get his curveball going. He's in the, he has a nasty Russo's curveball. Russo's got that good curveball. We Looks all like know they're going to bring in a pinch runner. Pinch runner here. Number 27. High school baseball, you're out to pinch runner for the pitcher in the game. So we'll be seeing Gigante back in the, in the bottom 27, of the fourth. The unknown man. Not on our list here. Not on our list here. <laughs> 
Russo sets himself on the rubber with runner on second base. One away here, top of the fourth. Russo deals. High and inside, ball one. Batter sets himself in the box. Russo looks back the runner at second. Russo deals here. Ball's popped way back behind the first base My side, well out of play. Almost hit the school there. Almost hit the school there. Maybe take out a few windows. <laughs> That'll be coming out of the Wayne Hills baseball budget if it does. John Ein's looking back at us, 2-0, sophomore. Let's get some good stuff. John Ein, great pitcher for the Wayne Hills baseball team. Number seven making we got a good squad appearance. this year. Very young. Call come back next year. Russo deals. Pops straight up behind the Rampo dugout. No play made. So he's got two strike, two strikes on him. So he should actually finish him off right here. Counts one and two here. One away. He should finish it off right here. Give We'd like to see curve. Russo throw that curveball like you just mentioned a few moments ago. Yeah, curveball, slider. Maybe, maybe even change it up if he wants. Yeah. He's already down the count. Yeah, I agree. Russo looks in, gets the sign from Hughes. Russo deals. Ball bounces in front of the plate here. Hughes does a good job covering there, so the runner doesn't take third. Chris Hughes is a senior, six foot, 200 pounds. Good awareness, good mm -hmm. catch right here. Yeah, he is. Not sure how, is it, how he is at the plate though. Russo checks the runner at second, Russo deals. Ball's hit well to right field. Ryan Green's tracking that, makes the catch. Nice pop, but didn't, didn't, didn't get too much of it. I guess uh, there's a little wind yeah. out here. Didn't get, didn't get that good of, didn't get the fat part of the bat yeah. on the ball there. So almost a routine fly ball there for Ryan Green. Russo shouldn't have uh, trouble with his third out. He's got two outs already. Two confident. outs here. With only a runner on second, and with a big lead, they're up six runs here, seven to one. Not really to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Still has to keep checking that runner though. Looks back, walks, steps off the mound. Good old uh, James Leach uh, up at bat. James Leach rounding out the bottom of the order for the Rampo Green Raiders. Uh, playing left field. Ninth yeah. hitter doesn't always mean the worst hitter. It doesn't mean anything. Bottom of the lineup is very important. Throw down to second there on the pitch. Good covering by Janaid. Runner on second is taking a huge lead. Ionel, Coach Ionel for Wayne Hills, making sure the players stay focused. Don't make any silly plays here with such a good lead that they've built up. Even Mr. Rafini, a science teacher, showed up today. See, that shows how good our Wayne Hills fans are. That's when you know the Wayne Hills fans are really dedicated. Yeah, totally. Russo deals. Strike. Counts now one and one, two outs. One, one. Russo sets himself on the mound. Gets a sign from Hughes. Russo looks back at second. Russo deals. Fouled off by got, Leach. Got him with the off-speed stuff Didn't right get there. Him with the off-speed. A little ahead of himself, uh, James yep. Leach, he is. Way out in front of that pitch. That, he's got two strikes on him. Russo's just Counts finish him off. One, two. Two outs here. Finish him off right here. Yep, should be looking to finish him off. One ball, two strikes. Russo sets. Here's the one, two. Ooh, the curveball. Russo thought he might have had him there walking off the mound. Almost to the curve at uh, so one and two. Good call, but now it's two and two. That's a great pitch to throw one and two there. Of course. Russo thought he had it. Catch him off balance, even get the corner of the plate. Well, Russo deals here, 2-2. Two, two. Got some swinging strike three there to end the top of the fourth. Got him with the off-speed stuff again, Russo did. Not even a fastball. Leach seemed to be fooled by that off-speed stuff. Threw an off-speed stuff on 0-2, oh and, and now he threw another one on 2-2. Two and two. Yep. Finished him off. I was going confident to the fourth inning. Russo's working very well through these innings. Yeah, he's been solid these last two innings. Hopefully he'll be able to continue.
Antonio and Bimbo will be leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Wayne Hills Patriots. Bimbo's already got three RBIs in the game. Three Could RBI. have four or five. Antonio's a good player. Antonio Junior. came close to a home run in the first inning. Smashed it out to left center field, scoring two RBIs, and then picked up his third RBI of the game in the third inning there, bottom of the third. This good player hit it uh, in the gap. First baseman was playing a little over. Very, very well. Playing a little game of catch. Pitcher warming up. Tonio's coming up the bat. We got a uh, James Leach at the mound. Closed out the last inning, so let's see if he uh, he can go strong to the into the bottom of the fourth. Antonio's been the key to this game, batting in several runs, getting key hits. Very young, too. He's come back for his senior season. I expect a lot from him, actually. Tony was always good at working the count. Swings on anything he likes. Not much of a free swinger, but a specific ball. He gets a hold of it. It's going. Strike one called. Fastball right down the middle. Didn't even swing at that one. Gigante deals there for the called for the swinging strike one there. Antonio feeling very confident as hitter right now. Seems, of course, seems to hit a hot streak in the season for him. Gigante deals well outside and in the dirt. Counts now one and one. One one. Kiri, you really can't say enough about Antonio Bimbo. Only a junior. Only a junior. Three RBIs in the game already. It's, Three, it's the fourth inning. I mean, come on. He's having a great game. Great it's season, great, too. It's a great season. I think he's got a uh, 12, I think, on the RBIs of the season already. Yeah. Eight games. Two one. <laughs> Gigante, the relief pitcher, I mean, seems might be having a tough time finding that strike zone. Deals high and inside to Antonio. Maybe brushing him off the plate a little bit there. Stayed away from that one. Three, a lot one. of chin music going on right there. Mm, chin music, yes. Tony doesn't like the high cheese. Yeah. Just, he's a very specific swinger. Antonio doesn't mind taking the walk. Not even. Gigante deals well inside once again. Walks him. How um, base percentage has got to be outstanding for this young, yes. young batter from the Wayne Hills squad. Wayne Hills has to be happy to see this once again. Get the leadoff batter on. No outs. I mean, that's exactly what you want as a team. Gigante didn't want to give Antonio anything good to hit, so he ends up walking him. Yep. He realized that uh, Antonio has already made Brandon Pope this game, so he doesn't want to give him anything good to hit. Here we got Joe Liguori up. Gigante deals. Liguori hits it softly fouled on the third baseline. Liguori's hustling that out, even though it's uh, could have came, came back inside. Could have came back, yes. On deck for the Wayne Hills Patriots is Janae Chowdhury. It seems every hitter on this team is a good hitter, good contact, good power. So the pitchers really got to do a good job. Gigante deals. Balls outside and low. Counts now one and one. One ball, one strike. Swings and miss. Gigante gets the strike two there. Counts now one and two. Not too much speed on the bases right now for Antonio. No, not, should, not much speed with Antonio. They, they should uh, get a pitch Gigante from there, looks yeah. in. Gigante deals. Fouled off behind the backstop there. Gore's having a strong at bat. Gore's not going to go down easy. He's going to cover all parts of the plate.
One ball, two strikes. Here we are, bottom of the fourth inning. Wayne Hills leads 7-1. Gigante throws over to first, check the runner. But like Mo just said, Antonio is really not that big of a threat to steal, so. I think at this point in the game, you, this point in the game, to pour it on, you get a pinch runner in there. Yeah. You easily get the third yeah, in the base eight, hit. Yeah. And that pitch is well in the dirt. Counts now even, 2-2. Two and two. Antonio did not go on that pitch. He knew he wouldn't make it. I mean, there's really no need to steal here. We got Janaid on deck here. Good, solid hitter. Play shortstop. Ligori swings through that one, just fouling off a piece behind the backstop, staying alive at 2-2. Two and two. Gigante sets on the mound, looks in for the signs, gets it from Borelli. That's possible double play here. Got two right there. The 4-6-3 double play set by the Rampo Green Raiders. Right in play, but not in the right place. Place to make contact. That play was operated perfectly. Each infielder did their job. And Even though we don't like to compliment the Green Raiders too much because they are they uh, the bitter arch rivals. They are the arch rivals. But they are always a solid club. But right now, not really solid. A little overrated, in my opinion. They are slightly overrated. Janae takes one high and tight. Ball one. The real rivalry, I tell you much, is football, though. Gigante deals to Janaid. Janaid hits it to play. left field. Easy. That should be a routine fly ball to end the inning, and it is. We go to the top of the fifth here. Wayne Hill's leading 7 1. Nick Russo's living large and in charge out there on the mound. Russo's pitching a gem, in my opinion. His stuff is all over. The, his stuff is, his location is perfect, and his velocity is perfect. I haven't seen Russo pitch. Yep, I haven't seen him. To be honest with you, I think Russo's pitching one of the better games of his high school career today. Of course, his Rampo is ranked highly in the re right. record. And with this big win, if Wayne Hills is able to pull it out, this will s put, just jump them up in the papers. They'll be 9-1 and one with this victory. 7-1 uh, in the division. It, it, Rampo will drop it to 6-2. It'll just give him a jump start. Yep. Build a lot of confidence, too, Pete, in the Green Raider squad. A lot of confidence, yeah. Year in and year out, very good, well coached. Very. And year in and year out. We always seem to have that problem against Rampo. Yes. Sometimes we, uh, they have a problem with us, but yep. lately it's been we have us having the problem. We with have them. the problem with Rampo, exactly. Especially in football, they beat us bad yeah, twice. In football. Football. We had a tough season this year with Rampo, so yeah, it's good to get them back in the other sports that we can in springtime. That's when the rivalry really gets crazy in the fall when yep. we play them in football. It's just unbelievable. But how, how many fans show up for the MSG televised we, we event? Been a few games where we get around eight to ten thousand people. About two years ago. Yeah. Get a little uh, Chris Sims, who is now uh, actually with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Sims was the starting quarterback for the Green Raiders, and we actually uh, beat him all twice when he was starting. We, we did senior. beat Chris Sims, yes. Russo deals. Called strike one. Russo deals here. Ball's outside, 1-1. One one. Russo now even in the count, 1-1. One one. Even in the count, 1-1. One one. Top of the fifth, no outs, no men on. Seems like the Green Raiders are uh, doing a little unsportsmanlike conduct here, but the, the ref, I mean, the umpire already went over there and warned them. Umpire already warned them in the third inning. Seems so. like they're still doing it, making noise every time Russo's going to pitch. I don't think that's uh, the right thing to do. No. I'm 2-1 pitch here. Smacked up the middle to Janaid. Janaid fumbles it, throws over to first here, and he does not get him. Close call there at first, and the umpire gives the tie to the runner there, maybe, it seems. Seems like that. Tie always goes to the runner, and Janaid bobbled that ball a little bit. He's got to just pick it up and throw it. it. Wasn't a really hard hit ball, I can't say. Janaid really should have probably ate that one up.
Got Charlie, little Charlie Gretatel here, the, actually the quarterback for the starting varsity team, up at bat. Russo deals. I hear, he, I hear he's a pretty solid player, but Russo, it's nothing Russo can't handle. Pitch was high, so that's ball one. We got runners on first, no outs. Counts one and no, top of the fifth. Russo deals. Ball's high and inside, counts now two and Omo. Once again, some chin music from Russo. Get him off to play a little bit. He'll definitely back, back up from board. that. Yeah, he will. Pitchers always like to use that to get the batter to back away, open up their strike zone. Once again, Rampo being very obnoxious in their bench. Counts now 3-0. and oh. Russo might be losing focus, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a meeting with the coach. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. The, du the dugout of the Rand Green Raiders just yelling. Russo deals. And oh. He's lost the strike zone, I think. I, I think he, I think he's, he's letting that noise, that obnoxious noise, get to him. He's letting the Green Raiders get to his head. And one of the coaches is now going to take a walk yeah, Here comes out. the pitching coach coming to talk to him, settle talk him down a little Mo. bit before it gets a little out of hand. Coach O, according to some players on the bench here. Russo can uh, come out of this little funk he's having. Just got to pay attention to the plate and the batter. Can't pay attention to the obnoxious Green Raiders over there. Russo would really love to see the double play ball right here. <laughs> Just having a short meeting out on the mound with the pitching coach. First Getting base Nick coach settled down. First base coach is also giving advice to his runners. Telling the runners what they're gonna do in certain situations. Russo looking very focused with that eye. Russo now looks in, gets the sign. Russo deals. Big swing there. A little uh, 25, uh, a little ahead of that one, actually. Mike swinging a little early. batting there. Yeah, Mike uh, swinging a little early there. Should wait on a little boy. Third baseman for Rampo. Russo deals. Oh, LaSalle gets a good hit. Kyle Kavanaugh's got that one caught. Makes the easy catch. Throws back in. A little retaliation from the Wayne Hills bench. Wayne, Hill, Wayne, Wayne Hills fans are jumping all over these Rampo Green Raiders. Now batting number 26, the catcher, Joe Borelli. Just can't let it get to his head. Just gotta pay attention. Just to, gotta focus in. Just gotta focus in. He's a pitcher, so it focuses uh, is a lot. Russo deals. Once again, Borelli yeah. swings right through it. Joe Borelli a little ahead of that one, just like the last better, Mike Borelli. Russo deals here. Morelli gets a piece of it, fouls it straight up for a foul ball. Russo's ahead in the count. He should oh, not have two. a problem with his third strike. Change it up, do a lot of things with I this I like one. to see Russo throw that curveball. Yeah, that curveball is just nasty, hop ho bands. Really is, some, it's devastating to a batter's eye. You think it's here and it drops at your knees. You really can't say enough about this kid's curveball. And there it was. Russo throws it, it's in the dirt. Catcher's gotta have a little more. He's out. And he is called out at second base. Actually, it was a very good call. Runners try advancing on the ball in the dirt, and the guy, and the man at second base was thrown out nicely by Chris Hughes behind the plate. Chris Hughes, a nice little throw. Janae put the tag on him. Grenatel out for the second yep. out of the inning. Now he's one and two, head of the count. I should have no problem with this. Those are great Same. baseball mechanics by the Wayne Hills Patriots in the field. Can't say enough about this good Wayne Hills squad this year. They must be watching Tommy Amansky's videos on how to improve baseball fielding or something. So great, I don't know what it is here at Wayne Hills, but their fielding's not bad. It's a great video, Jonathan. <laughs> the count's two and two, two outs here. Top of the fifth. Wayne Hills leads seven to one. <laughs> Wayne Hills bench cheering Nick Russo on. Russo looks in, deals. Pitch is high, counts now full three and two. Looks like Russo once again is trying to get him the hitter off the plate. Smart, actually smart tactics. I wouldn't he, be surprised to throw the change up here after just throwing that curve. Yeah, uh, to hit. just throwing that fastball. Yeah. Okay, outside corner. And outside corner back. strike three. Russo got out of the inning once again. Ball strike three. Very exciting here. Going to the bottom of the fifth. 
Lane Hills leads going into the bottom of the fifth, 7 1. Russo, right down the middle with a fastball, Russo did it. Could he either change it up at the outside corner, but I, I like his selection with the fastball. Might, yes, it was a very good pitch. Russo. Maybe the batter might have been expecting something else. That's why he did go with his pitch, the fastball. At least he wasn't out looking. Nick Russo comes back to the dugout, a confident man. They're just throwing five complete innings now. I think Russo feels a little more comfortable at the mound. You know, he's got more insurance runs. Release the uh, stress, focus on the game. Coach Ionel rallying the troops, making sure they stay focused at what they have to do. Completing, competing still hard in these next two innings, even though they do have a six run lead. Nick Russo drinking his Gatorade, might become a future sponsor for the company, so. Good observation there, Jonathan. Nick Russo likes his Gatorade, it's whatever keeps him focused in this game. Maybe he can even pull out a complete game. Complete game, I'm not gonna rule that out. Chris Hughes will, Chris Hughes will step in the box. He made a great throw earlier. On deck, on deck. Throw on the top of the fifth there to get that runner at second base. On deck is Justin Donnarumma. <laughs> Rampo's chanting, not getting to Nick Russo's head because he's fo focused more than ever in the top, bottom of the fifth. Once Russo had that meeting with the pitching coach, it seemed to really calm him down. Let in no runs there with zero outs. And coach O definitely settled him down. Because after that, he had a strikeout. Really got through that inning, one, two, three after that, actually. So you're right, Coach O did make a big difference in going out and talking with Nick. Always helps when a guy comes out, calms you down, you get focused again once everything. again. Exactly. Mentally, you just get focused back to the game, and yeah. it, it basically the control's in your hands. Exactly. Chris Hughes steps in, sets himself in the box. Gigante deals. Pitch is high, counts now 1-0. and Hughes, the catcher, a uh, very solid player. Put the ball in play last last time, but didn't actually get a base hit in this one. Hughes fouls it to the Rampo dugout. Counts now one and one. He was doing a little head hunting over there. One one. Chris Hughes sets himself in the box. Gigante deals. Chris Hughes way out in front of that pitch. Counts now 1-2. One ball, two strikes. Gigante sets, deals. Ball's hit very well down the left hand. Hughes got a hold of that one. Could, get, could be extra bases. Could be extra bases here. Not even a question. Hughes, Hughes digging for second base. Hughes walks into second. In nice with a stand-up double. Nice pull, very nice pull. Got a hold of the fastball right down the middle. Leach has got to watch watch what he's throwing on one and two. Tommy Amansky's video, sponsored by Fred McGriff, is really showing how it pays off for these Wayne Hills batters. Fred McGriff, the crime dog, must be doing something right here. Of course. Fred McGriff, a big sponsor of Tom Amansky's home videotape for baseball mechanics. Hughes watching that daily. Hughes must be watching that often. Watching that daily, got the perfect Coach Ainel must preach that here. Co obviously. Pulling that ball nicely down the line. Justin Donnarumma steps in now. I always love when he catches a good hit also. Yeah. Gigante looks back second, deals. Donnarumma, just a sophomore playing just varsity. Quality. He must be an exceptional Quality player. game. Oh, yeah, of course. Must I know he seems to have a lot of confidence in this kid. Takes that pitch for a called strike one. No worries there, though. Gigante deals from the stretch, throws Whoa. inside. One, one. Counts now one and one. As I look behind me, it looks like the track meet is just ending. Wayne Hills uh, obviously came on the top over the fair lawn cutters. Got a good track team also. It's very well to see here at Wayne Hills. Most sports are all doing pretty well this yeah. season. A lot so. of talent up in Wayne. Whoa. Pitch is well outside, counts now two, two and balls, one. one strike. Leach has got to relax with the changeup on one and one. Chris Hughes was taken out of the game, replaced by pinch runner number 20. 
Pinch runner number 20, that'd be Ryan Horhan, who isn't starting today. Horhan getting, the, getting oh, the strike, counts now two and two. Horhan getting the well-deserved day off. Well-deserved day off. After a bunch of nice performances put together with some RBIs and some hits. Horhan, probably smart. the ace pitcher on the staff, I'd have to say. I'd have to agree with that one. Smart runner also. Smart, very smart baseball player indeed. He just knows the game very well. Maybe he could take it onto a college level also. Gigante deals here. That counts now full three and two. Gigante likes it, seems like the dirt in this inning. Throwing it down there. Gigante losing his focus. Gigante winds up. And Good contact. Up Good contact up the middle. Here comes Jorge. He's no. Pulls up. No, nice I, throw by the center fielder. I know, holding Horhan at third there. That is beside me. Horhan had a nice jump and the ball was halfway down the line. Mm. I am shocked that he didn't go home on that Surprised one. Surprised by Anel's decision there to hold the runner. Surprised by the decision, but you know what? There's a method to his madness because he's got a good team, good squad every year. I know obviously has something up his sleeve because he did this earlier, holding up the runners, and they were able to make it. did do this earlier beginning. in the game by holding the runner, and it did pay off. Gante throws home for a called strike, counts 0 1. Still no outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. We have openings on deck, and we have Kavanaugh in the hole. Bad decision for the catcher, number 26. The catcher Horhan walks in. Throws it away, and Horhan just walks on home. 8 1 now. Pouring it on, the Wayne Hill squad is. 8 to 1. Wayne Hill showing no mercy. Hand handshakes and uh, fives all around here. It's 8 1. High fives, candy, Gatorade, all for the Wayne Hills players after the game tonight. Well deserved Pizza steak. party. Let's see if, let's see if Lacasse can uh, get in. Lacasse been having a rough start today, so. See if Lacasse can uh, bat in Donnarumma, I wouldn't see a problem. Just get a little contact, and he can easily walk home. Easy. Ooh, Lacasse swinging at that high pitch there. A little sack fly's got to be running through Lacasse's head. Possibly. You know he'd like to see the base hit, though. Yeah. Lacasse is a good swinger, good ball player. Gante brings him home. Cast. Little contact. Granatel was moved over on the adjustment and he hit it right through the hole. Donnarumma walks in 9 1. We, they are just pouring it on I the love Hill squad. To, I love to see Wayne Hills pour it onto Rams. I'd love to see the Mercy Rule actually come up perhaps this inning. The Mercy Rule might be coming soon. Two more runs. The, the Umps. The Umps won the game and rightfully so after Wayne Hills just annihilates the Rampa. They are just annihilating their pitching. Leach can't come off the bullpen. He's cold, not throwing good stuff. Yeah. Hills is pouring it on once again. Yeah, exactly. In my opinion, the game is over. Two more runs. Mercy rule. Coach ma ma makes another meeting at the mound for Rampo. Dan Albany is at bat. Last that bat, he uh, popped up, I believe. Albany's. Kavanaugh in the uh, batter's circle. Ball's outside. Counts 1 0. Still no outs here. Bottom of the fifth inning. Gigante looks in. Albany's just got to have a little patience at the play here. Albany's. To the hole. Could be extra bases. Lacasse walks into third base easily. Albany's on first. Runners first and third. No out still. High school, what, seven inning game? Seven inning game here Could in Could have high the mercy school. rule in the fifth. Mercy rule in the fifth. That'd be a great thing to see here. That'd be great for us broadcasters too. It really would be. <laughs> Here we got Kyle Kavanaugh uh, up at deck. I mean, up at bat. Green, green uh, on deck. Hey, 
Kyle Cavanaugh sets himself in the batter's back. Gigante looks to deal. Gigante deals low. Cavanaugh lays off the changeup. Gigante really can't find the strike zone. Gigante seems to be throwing a lot of changeup out of the strike zone. In the strike zone, he can't, he's, his, he's all over. His release is all over. He's, 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 a, just, he's a mess out there. He's got to focus up. We already got two runs on him, and it's he's been pitching for 1.1 innings. Gigante deals. I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with this fellow here. He's in the dirt. It's six out of the last eight pitches. I'm really surprised the Rampo coach hasn't come out and had a firm talking with him. They got to send out the lefty over here. They do. Runner advances on that throw. Seems like Wayne Hills is just prevailing on all the righties they send in here. Kyle not going to swing at anything that's even close to the strike Smart batter. Right Takes one pitch. I feel as though the ump might have gave him that one. That ball is sort of low, I mean, almost below the knees. It's a tough pitch call. Gigante sets on the rubber. Here he comes home with the pitch. Oh. Hits him in the arm. Kavanaugh walks to first base. Kavanaugh gets hit. Seems like that was uh, that was a little bit of warning from Gigante hitting him. Bases are loaded here with no outs. With Ryan Green stepping up, the um, cleanup hitter, I believe today. Quick little hit through the hole could have could could be the game winner. Mercy rule, but with Green leading the team in home runs this year with three plus home runs. Actually, second in North Jersey. I'm looking to see it. You know he wants to go for that big fly here. It is always nice to say I hit a grand slam. It would be beautiful if we hit a grand slam. Game over. Is Wayne it really true, Mo, that the game ends? Mercy rule. Game just, man's mercy rule. Really? That is an established ru rule in the NBIL. Oh. Hitting the dirt once again, Gigante is. Just not with us today. So what do we need, Mo? Two more runs. Two more runs. Two more runs and we're all out of here. Players would love to see that. Get home early dinner with the families. <laughs> Two more runs. That's all she wrote, Poe Bands. Yep. Gigante deals. He's all over the place. I can't get over it. He's in the dirt. He's up high. It counts to an Omo. And there's, there's, a, there's a strike zone he should actually be throwing the at. The Raiders must have just gave up on this game. It's called the plate. Gigante uh, should think, you know, should know it's a plate he's throw, trying to throw out there. Yeah. Gigante is going to be shooting himself in the foot after this game. Not a good outing at all. Oh. Once again. Almost hitting green there. Once again up top. I'm shocked the way Gigante is pitching. You might not need to see Russo one more inning. I'm shocked the way he, he's performing in this, in this important NBIL matchup. Ryan Green should be taking all the way here. Score a runner. Bases are loaded. There are no outs. Faking the bun he is. Walks in Walks with the in bases loaded. One more Amazing. run, and that's all she wrote, folks. Score is now Wayne Hills 10, Rampo 1. One more run, and this game's over. No, no more room on the bases, so if he walks more this guy, run. game's over. Antonio already with three RBIs on the day. Could today. have his fourth to end the game. Just got to put it in play. Very smart batter. Has Bases three RBIs. still loaded. No outs. Fourth RBI could be the big one. Gigante up high again, Popans. What, what can you say about this guy? I'm just shocked. You know, he is the relief pitcher. Maybe he pitched a few days ago. We don't know about this. Could be on a short day's rest, short you're days right. Rest. But it's unusual for a pitcher to be this far in and out of the strike zone. That's very five straight unusual. balls from Gigante. That's 2-0 and oh now. Just can't find the strike zone. Mentally, he's not with us. No, he's not. Physically, he's just throwing it all over the place. We're like in his head right now. There's no pitchers We're in his head right up. now. That's What's that, seven balls in a row? Seven balls in a row. No one's warming for the Rampo Green Raiders. Clearly, the coach has most likely given up on this game. They'll wait till we come back to Rampo. They'd like, to see the, they'd like to see us come to their home. They're having a little trouble Gigante, in our home. Really taking time here. Ooh. Oh, a little high in my I opinion. I called strike there by the umpire. Now it counts two and one. A little high in my opinion, but he's the umpire for, for a good reason. So he, He's getting paid to do his job back there, and if he sees it, then he's going to call it. Totally opinionated strike zone, though. Yes, out of, uh, it is. It's all varies. There's no set strike umpires zone. Umpires are all different. Popped up right. well behind the first base side. Should be no play, and there is. Counts now two and two. No outs here. Bases loaded. This is just a beautiful situation for the Wayne Hills squad. Bases loaded. 
one more run and everyone gets to go home, everyone's happy. No need to play seven. Every, everyone's you can ten run a team, you know. Everyone's gonna be ecstatic when they when they get back in the locker room. Two balls, two strikes. Two so, balls, two strikes, and the umpire says, "Let's play ball once again." Can't get over how big of a win this is for the Wayne Hills really Patriots, is. though. Young squad, and look at the way they're performing. Can't, you just can't say enough about this, this Dante team. Deals. Antonio. Looks like a sack fly. The hop, error on the throw. The game is over. The Wayne Hills Patriots with the victory. The Wayne Hills Patriots with a huge 11 to 1 win here today at Patriot Field. Big win, big NBIL game. And they stepped up for the challenge. Wayne Hills is now up in the division. Seven wins, one loss. Rampo drops to 6 and 2. 9 and 1 overall in the overall season. Overall record, Hills is. 9 and 1 record. Russo will get the win. He's now 3 and 0. Oh. Don't forget to tune in to the 30-minute uh, drill on Channel 77, weeknights and all weekends. And Mo over here has a show called the um, Jabber Jocks, him and Dennis. Yeah, our, our shows are back to back, about 10.30, 10 o'clock, I think. Two great shows you should be watching. All right, well, that has been it for me, John Pobans, Mo Petraco, and Jason Nye. Jason Nye. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is us signing off. Us signing off here from Patriot Field. Great win by the Patriots. Great win. Five innings. Bye-bye.